Okay, so here we have what's known as a beam trawler or scalloper, uh, which are the, the vessel is the same, but it's just a, the beamer and the scalloper use slightly different gear. This is actually a scalloper, it's used a scallop dredges, and you can see they're like these chain bags that are towed along the seabed and they pick up the scallops. So just a feature about this particular vessel is that, as you can see, they have this long pole, which is called a beam, and then they have the upright poles, which are called booms. And when the vessel is at sea, the skipper will lower the booms out to horizontal, so it'll be almost like two wings off the vessel. And then these poles, or beams, will turn uh, 90 degree, and they'll, they'll be towed along the seabed. They have these wheels like tires at the either end so it makes it easier for the boat to tow the beams and for stability and uh, ob obvious purposes they have one on either side so they, they have the two booms and the two beams. When they haul the gear again it'll come back up and it'll be, it'll be almost like it is now and they'll bring these chain bags in to you might just see below the conveyor belt and the crew will open up the bottoms of the bags or the, they'll release the uh, bags and the scallops will just fall out into the conveyor belt then they'll uh, reset the gear and as we call shoot it back over the side again and back to the seabed when that's done the, the crew will uh, grade uh, the scallops to make sure they're not too small so there's no undersize and they will uh, uh, pack them into bags and drop them down the hold and these these uh, scallops will be kept under refrigeration for five or six or seven days until the boat comes ashore again then they'll go to the factory uh, de-shelled mostly taken out and put into uh, tubs and then sent out to wholesalers which will send them on to the restaurants so it's quite a, uh, an expensive type of fishery because the boat uses a fair amount of diesel and it, obviously the boats themselves are expensive and have to be repaid and that's one of the reasons why scallops are not the well sought after but uh, it, more, more on the expensive level of, of uh, general fish products. So what we're going to do is uh, Skipper Kieran has given us permission to go aboard so we're going to have a little look around and do a, a, show you a few more ins and outs of this type of vessel, so as I say a beam trawler, this one is. This is just a short uh, explanation of winches and how they work and the integral part they play on most fishing vessels as well because uh, most of the time it involves taking gear from the vessel, dropping it back down to the seabed and then recovering it. So obviously nowadays it's all done with winches. These winches are, uh, on this particular boat, are electrically driven with big DC motors and if, as you see, there's three winches, two small ones on this side, and then one main one. And then you have the gearbox in the middle, and then on the other side of the vessel, you'll have the same again, mir mirrored over there. So these two small ones are for the booms, they're for lowering the booms out, and which, which drop out like this here. And the other, the main ones, the main winch here is for dropping the fishing gear up, in, up and down from the boat down to the seabed and then we're covering them back up. And as you can see this wire is a good bit thicker, it's about an inch and a half thick, as the as these ones are about an inch thick. So these guys, this, this is the one that has the most weight on and, and recovers the booms. And then we just have another small winch here which is just a landing winch and that just lifts the, the, all the, the scallops that are down in the fish hold up and onto the truck on the pier so and again that, that one's hydraulically driven and uh, he, he's, he's just uh, as I say for landing so he's the smallest guy as you can see the winch there, the wire there is only about one third of an inch thick 10 millimeter okay so that's winches